Hello everyone, it's Tech, and you're watching my full tutorial on Tulip PLL. Now this video is going to cover three things. They are what is Tulip PLL, the algorithms used, how to use those algorithms. So stay tuned. Now what does Tulip PLL means? Tulip PLL means permuting the last layer with just two algorithms. Now what that means is when you're done with all your layers and all your faces except the third layer. This third layer is solved by PLL. There are two types of PLL. The one look PLL and the two look PLL. The difference between these two is that two look PLL requires you to look at the cube two times uh, like you look at the cube first you identify the case do the alg and look at the cube once again identify the case and do the algorithm once again but in one look PLL you just look at the cube recognize the case do the algorithm and the cube is solved but there is one more difference in two look and one look PLL and that is I think the most important it is that two look PLL has only six algorithms and one look has 21 algorithm so uh, this is the main differences between two look and one look PLL so let's start with the algorithms first algorithm is this one in which you need to swap the corners and you have a pair of headlights now what is headlights when you have two stickers of same colors this pair is called headlights so you need uh, you want to keep the headlights at the back and do the algorithm that is r i f r i b2 r f i r i b2 r2 now the second algorithm is this one in which you need to get this corner here and vice versa and this corner here and this one there the algorithm is x i r u i r i d r u i r i u to small case u r i u r d r i u i r now the third algorithm is this one in which you need to swap the edges and oh sorry clockwise that is you're swapping the edges clockwise like this one needs to come here this one here and this one needs to go here so it's an anti-clockwise sorry clockwise edge rotation and the algorithm is r2 u r u r i u i r i u i r i u now the fourth algorithm is just the reverse of the third one that is you need to swap the edges anti-clockwise this one comes here this one goes there and this one comes here the algorithm is r sorry r u i r u r u r u i r i u i r2 now the fifth algorithm is this one in which you need to swap the corners like this that is this one comes here and this one goes there and these two will switch so the algorithm is m2 u m2 u m i u2 m2 u2 m i u2 now the last algorithm of this tutorial is this one in which you need to swap these two corners this one and this one and these two this and this the algorithm is m2 u m2 u2 m2 u m2 and that's it for the algorithms so now it's time to use those algorithms step one find a pair of headlights as I told you back that what is a headlight this is a headlight now you found one get it at the back and do the first algorithm that is r i f r i b2 r f i f r i b2 r2 
then you'll probably get one of the cases from those six algorithms. Now this time it's the anti-clockwise rotation so I'll of the edges so I'll do the algorithm and the cube solved. So once again you need to find a pair of headlights get them out in the back do the first algorithm and then you'll probably get or you're guaranteed to get one of the cases from the six algorithms. Now this time it's algorithm number six that is the swap of the edges like this and I'm doing the algorithm and the cube solved. So these are only two algorithms you need to use out of those six and uh, let's revise it once again. Step one, find the headlights and get them on the back. Step two, recognize the case and do one of the six algorithms. Now it's time for an exception, exception number one. Now there might be a case when you get the uh, headlights, you get them on the back, do the algorithm, but you get this uh, cube solved by the first algorithm. So it's nothing to worry about, it's just solved. Exception number two, you don't get any headlights. You can see here there are no headlights. So what you need to do is that just keep the cube the way you want and do the second algorithm. That is this one right here with the and you'll guarantee to get one of those cases once again. Exception number three, you have all the corners rightly placed but they are not positioned so you just need to match them up and do one of those six algorithms and it's solved now there's one last thing that i wanted to tell you is that don't depend on two look pll much start learning one look pll immediately after you have learned two look pll as one look pll is way more fast than two look pll and is more efficient as well so that was it, that concludes the video and this was Tecum signing off.